part nine, my Great Britain Let's Play for Empire Total War with the Empire 2 Overhaul mod. We continue where we left things off last time. And oh boy, oh boy, do we have a naval battle to kick things off today. Hopefully against a rather battered and depleted French fleet led by Fabrice uh, Pomeroy. What a name. But one or two of you did comment last episode saying, be wary, Lionheart, because I think I've even noticed this both in Empire and Napoleon. Sometimes the UI here is lying. It's lying to me. It's saying they're really weak and depleted, but then you go into the battle and they've suddenly gained half their crew and most of their guns and hull strength back. So I don't fully trust this, but I'm hoping it's true because if it is, probably the easiest way to deal with the enemy fleet for most of the ships that are heavily damaged is to sail close up alongside them, shrapnel shot, and then board them with my crews that are at full strength. Let's dive on in and see what happens. Knowing the direction of the wind. And how Thanks, boss. Right. We want to go along this way to them. Well, I mean, we could sell up and up and right. I'm going to keep my chips much closer. I'm going to use these um, pinnace to harass the enemy. And then I'm going to go in for boarding with my big boys. Have you guys there. Have them either come up behind or something else. And this, I I don't know what to do with you, fire ship. I don't know how do I how do I how do I activate you? You're a um you're a mystery to me. I'm gonna have you here. The formations button opens at Okay, let's have a look. Are they truly as damaged as the UI was saying? Mm, doesn't look like it on the hulls. In terms of the guns available though, and crew. That's a fire ship. That's a pinace. That's... That's got all its guns. It's got a much smaller crew. Much smaller crew. Much smaller crew. Okay. We should... Yeah, I probably should just sail straight at them and go for boarding actions across most of them. Because, frankly, their crews look wrecked. Clicking on your left or port broadside button loads your guns ready to fire. The advancing red band around the button indicates how close you are to being ready. When this is complete, I click on the button. Fast forward it now. Let's go for some boarding actions, boys. My crew is thicker than yours. <laughs> I'm assuming just giving an attack order sets this up as it should. I'm assuming. Time to start boarding, lads. Oh, that's a fire ship. That's a fire ship. That's a fire ship. That one's a, a fully at strength 42 gun. I'm going to keep sending these guys straight through, I think.
don't know how the fire ship works. It looks like I've given the attack on it's going in for it, but like does it have to lock onto it and then set itself ablaze. Turn with the wind. Nice and tight. Between our two ships. That one surrendered. Good. They have to surrender for you to get a chance to catch them. Because quite a lot of you guys were saying as well, I should hit continue after battles so, to make them go from routed to surrendered. Turn around and hit this one if we can. Shrapnel. Switch to shrapnel. Turn tight. surrendered this one surrendered that one surrendered unfortunately we couldn't get a chance to use it Come on, full sail, please. it yet must do soon okay you stopped that one surrendered that ship of the line still going. Oh, you've surrendered. No, you're routing. That's fine because you've been hit by that one from behind. Trying to draw you in closer. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. That one surrendered. Good, good, good. Back to round shot.
wing up and around. It's just that that this ship here. That's the main threat right now. On to the next one, please. Oh, that one's concerned again. Done a pretty good job so far. Balance of power is certainly swinging. Tight turns, tight turns. If we'll win it. So we've got a fair few more to capture. And going into a capturing route does do some pretty significant damage to us. Turning, otherwise you're gonna get hit. Turn, Newton, turn. We can force these guys to submit. I'm trying to bring all my ships now round to them. All sails. this one across. That's the one I need to take out. The rest of them are weak. I just need to get ships close enough to board. I'm trying to cap little ships. That's what I'm trying to do as well. I'm not trying to capture any of the little ones. I've got to swing around to get to them though. As well, uh, is that one routed? Okay. Hit it from behind. 
best chance to weaken it. Just need like one or two more to break, I think, and then we'll have it. And surrendered? No. Coming back. around and get it now. That's good. That one's routing. You come around to hit that one there. Should work out well. Try and work in on this one. Docking. Come on, let me get you. Got that. Got them off. That's got a good blast. Turned. Come on. Get your grappling hooks ready, boys. Here we go. Hooks away. close. And you have a little bit of crew advantage. That's held. Just... My count, it's just that ship remaining once this one's dealt with here. Which it looks like we're already doing a pretty good job of. The only issue with the naval combat was manual broadside shot. Always wanted to have two ships fire same time when they go to the side of the enemy. 
I mean, I, I don't use manual broadside because I've always found, um, even from uh, Vanilla Empire, it's best let them to auto fire, fire at will. Uh, I mean, the way you can get it so that they fire at the same time going either subship is have two two ships parallel to one another, and then another ship goes straight through the middle. And if they go through the their cone of fire at the same time, they will fire pretty much simultaneously. Make some good progress there. Keep blasting away. All right, we can fast forward this now. Bounce power massively in my favor. That's good, that's good, that's good. That one is wavering. Yeah, our crew was able to take him out. The frigates are able to outpace and outmaneuver the more ponderous of battleships, yet have enough armament to hammer lighter opponents. There are few ships able to weather an encounter with a well-handled frigate. That should be a lot of surrendered ships. Last one to go. Everybody chase him. Probably should have one come out in front and try and shred its sails, slow it down. Just make it wait a little bit longer and this one can come alongside it and board it. Finish it. <laughs> Leave one to tell the tale. Not this time. He's the most enjoyable naval battle I've had, actually, so far. Kind of nice to have an objective. Well, the fact that they were weakened and I could go in and try and capture a load of them. That's been quite nice. Yeah. Messed that up, though, with trying to go in for capturing. That's probably the crew I need. That ship. That's it. Try and, try and slow it down a little bit. There we go. We've delayed it long enough that that one should be able to get in now. Finish it. Here we go. 
Lovely. It's going to get got. Boom. Beautiful. Surrendered. A Pyrrhic victory. The ships are mine. What a prize this shall be. Every single one. We got Corvettes. Got fire ships. Is that the uh, for uh, Pinace? Pinace. That is the forty gun ship of the line. Yep. Worth sixteen k. But yeah, we'll keep filling out all of our forty guns now with these captured French ships. Beautiful. It's that one forty gun. Yep. Uh, the Pinaces are quite. Quite good, so I'm going to take some of you guys as well. I don't know if I'll bother with the fire ship and the Corvette. I'll take the prize money from the rest. Boom. Uh, actually, I could take uh, a crew, can I? know. let's just leave them. Beautiful. I forgot we were going to the end turn phase. <laughs> I was like, oh, right. What are we doing next in my turn? Nope. Perfect. Honestly, thrilled with that. It's a cracking naval victory. Master of the waves, indeed. New town emerges. Wonderful. I was going to make that a shipyard because I've already got a trading port and I've already got a fishing port there. Oh, wait, no, that's that's literally its own settlement, isn't it? I think. Oh, no, Hispaniola is part of this one. No, yeah, it's part of that one. So, yeah, I've got the fishing fleet there, the trade port there, and I've got that one there. I think it all decentralized, like, through me for a sec there. Um, wow. Wow. Okie dokie. Right. So we're going to send you guys to try and finish off the pirates or to... We're going to leapfrog and hit more of the French, weren't we? Yes, that's what we were going to try and do. Um, How many ships do I have? Okay, yeah, cool. Let me send the Kraken down. I mean, the, taking out the pirates would be nice. Okay, careful the pirate fleet there. Uh, taking them out there would be good because then it would see off all the, these ships. Fleet ready. But I'm assuming I can only land them at the port. Which I'd have to blockade first. To, so we'll focus on the French on holdings. The They've got most of their force over there so we need to try and draw them out. Oh. Prussian. The Prussians are being very aggressive in this campaign. Quite a few of you have noted. But so yeah, we'll go hit that port. Perfect. Yeah, it's interesting. The campaign AI seems to be pretty aggressive, which is good. Fan of that. Here we go. Send, I can send the army straight in. Amazing. Demand surrender. Okay. What have they got? Two 12 pounder ad hoc company artillery. Okay. The rest of them shouldn't be a struggle for us. Um, I know there is another French. I think there's another major French force over here. So I want to be a little bit careful with not taking too many casualties. So I think we will fight this one. Let's throw in a save. I'm going to probably start throwing in saves before every battle now, just because 
um, Empire still be a pretty buggy, crashy beast at times, even with the Empire 2 mod. So, don't want to lose any unnecessary progress. Don't lose progress if we can help it. There's some lovely high ground up here. Um, so, I think I know where I'm going to pop my cannon. So, is that a marching point? Because if they do come to us there, we could just shred them with the cannon. I'm going to send my cavalry, hopefully, to knock out there. Cannon. Keep the grenadiers, I think, to right right by my ca cannon to protect it and then also push forward here if we need to so we've got some solid strength don't think we we'll need anything all the way up on the right because we've got the cavalry there so let's have you guys down here and then some additional forces in reserve Back there, and then my general up here. Other side of the city. This is fine. Yeah, they've got their set up in defenses. And the one doing the attacking, so they are most likely staying put. So I am going to have to push to them. It's got us into two ranks deep there. That's fine. Reserve group, I will send you forward as well, actually. Go behind the grenadiers. I'll bring the cannon forward too. Forward it. Got good long range all the way through. But once we can get into the city, that'll give us a bit of cover. Run a fair bit, but you've cleared that open ground, which is good. Right. Send the cavalry out to clear those cannons. Everybody else running for a little bit. Avoid the pikes. Get 
one cannon gone. On to the next crew. The gendarmerie. Go. Artillery is broken. Tell everyone to walk again. Give them a chance to recover their cohesion. Pull my cavalry out so we can reform. break these guys here. Their cohesion is bad. There's a standard. Okay, form up. This is bad as well. You know, pull back, keep pulling back, get out of range. is incredibly foolish because I've now got three units descending upon them. Front and flanks. There we go, they're breaking. the infantry you can all run forward now because you'll be back to excellent cohesion good 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 lovely stuff how do i feel about this game coming to mobile um excited to be honest i mean i don't think it's necessarily i won't probably won't play the mobile version a huge amount um i'll certainly check it out as i have done with the other mobile versions of like rome one medieval two uh i'll certainly check it out i mean it's good to have total war on the go but for me probably just getting used to touch controls over keyboard or mouse i'll probably tend to play it more on PC anyway but if I ever did want to play Total War on the go then at least it's nice to have that option um yeah I, I don't really see negative from it coming out on mobile if it brings in a whole new load of players to the series fantastic uh if it doesn't you know kind of nothing nothing really lost there um if it reinvigorates interest for Empire great Yeah, I'm looking, looking forward to it. Be interesting to see what quality of life improvements uh, that they add, because that's that's typically kind of more of what I've always enjoyed about the feral ports, because um, they've not just been ports. They've always added in some solid improvements and quality of life changes as well. There we go. Enemy cavalry should drop soon. those guys back because they're now surrounded by my infantry. They keep chasing them, aren't they? Clever, that's the right move in that scenario.
Get the grenades out, chaps. Let me just catch that cavalry charge. Pull them back. You drop your grenades on spot. Your wallies. Oh, it's because they're part of the line. It catches. Because they're overlapping. We've got some friendly fire, sir. Charge. Grenades are great, but you've got to have a unit pinned for it to work well. Right. Infantry, keep them engaged. Cavalry now, you can charge the pikes from the rear without worrying about the pointy end. Grenadiers go. Oh, you know what? I didn't see they had a fence there. Wait, no, it's not a fence. It's my, it's my, uh, for some reason, looking at that, the sprite looked exactly like that for a minute. I was like, ah, oh, what? go we got them they're in a settlement end it not sure if we saved that many there fighting that ourselves but that was enjoyable 408 yeah i mean it's not bad it's not bad Right, repair that. And pop you guys together. So yeah, we can see they've got a solid force in there. That's what we'll need to push on to next. New town emerges. Yeah, we've already done that one. Good, good, good. Get that repaired. A lot of you are saying I need to invest in more trade ships, which, yep. Might need to crank the tax up for a turn then. I think just so that we can focus on spamming out a load of trade ships. And then we can lower the taxes back down again because that takes us up comfortably. So yeah, let's do that. I mean, I say trade ships, just some some cheap ships that we can send to to go to the trade nodes. Four hundred cavalry against my gun line. Take the order resolve on that. Whoa, okay. Lesson learned. Don't do that. Well. Can't do that, General. Can't do that, General. That, I that was I was damn it. Empire order resolve. Yes. We didn't lose a whole unit anyway, did we had space one still? But yeah, that's a that's a big chunk to take. We'll have to get them replenished next turn. Um we've got our army waiting here, ready to go. We need to get Oh hang on, yeah, you were gonna you were gonna kick them out there, weren't you? To force another battle. But actually we've taken a bit of a beating there. I think we should play it safe, pull my fleet back, start repairing them. Uh, I mean I can't eject you there. I'm gonna get attacked by everybody. Withdraw. Chill there for now, guys. Right, let's end the turn and see what happens before we wrap things up for today. What 
what you do in Sweden. As population growth is slow here, it is recommended that you... Right, we got plenty of cash. Oh, the Coldstream Guard, that's what we were waiting for, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, so we can pop them in here and then get that army across. One of you are suggesting I send my gentleman over because I don't have any rakes to just scout out what's going here, uh, what's going on over at Paris. And we did get a glimpse, though, last turn. So I need to decide where I'm going to send that for. So we'll decide that and more at the start of the next episode, stream and recording. Wherever you've been watching, until the next one, I hope you've enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.